Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Alan, your Las Vegas and Henderson realtor with Simply Vegas. Today, we are checking out the brand new community of Delamar by Palti Homes in Las Vegas, Nevada. Delamar is located in the southwest, just west of the I-15 and south of the 215. The major crossroads are West Cactus Avenue and South Decatur Boulevard. The community of Delamar features a total of 115 home sites with a collection of two-story and three-story homes with four different floor plans. These four plans will range from 2,990 square feet up to 4,220 square feet and between four to six bedrooms. The HOA is $40 per month and there are no SIDS or LIDS. Currently, Home site premiums range from $30,000 up to $50,000 depending on the size of the lot and the location. The build time will vary from 11 to 13 months. The lot sizes will range between 4,300 square feet to 5,700 square feet with the average lot size being 4,300 square feet. Nearby amenities include the Southern Highlands Marketplace, South Point Hotel Casino and Spa, Blue Diamond Ranch, Center Plaza, and the Olympia Sports Park. Please take a moment and consider hitting that like button, subscribe button, and bell notification button. Thank you so much for all your support. Today, we are checking out the Calico floor plan at Delamar, which features 2,990 square feet, four to five bedrooms, three to four bathrooms, and a three car garage. The homes at the Delamar collection are very similar to the homes that were sold at the Liberty collection and the Rainbow Crossing luxury collection. Pulte, however, added their elegant touch to these American West homes. As we enter into the foyer, there's an option to install an open stairway as we see here. The standard option would be a storage closet with drywall underneath the stairs. This part to the left would be dried walled off but is being currently used as a sales office. The standard ceiling heights at the Delamar collection will be 9 foot ceilings upstairs and downstairs. Here we have a coat closet and a great size window as well. This area here is called the cafe which measures 8.5 by 11.5. Next to the cafe will be the entry room. On the left would be your laundry room, and in front of you would be the door to your garage. The included features in your garage would be a tankless water heater and a soft water loop. Next to the entryway is bathroom three. The included feature in bathroom three will be a cultured marble vanity countertop with a drop-in sink, a Moen brand fit faucet in chrome, as well as a mirrored medicine cabinet. Your standard shower will be a shower and tub combo with a cultured marble surround. For $5,500, you can opt to have this low threshold shower with a seat and tile surround. Depending on the tile that you choose, there will be an additional charge. I personally really like this clean look of using a 12x24 tile vertically and combining it with these smaller tiles up here. Next to bathroom 3 is bedroom 5. Bedroom 5 measures 12.5 by 10. Your bedrooms would not come with a pre-wire for a ceiling fan, but there's an option to install a ceiling fan with a light kit. This option will cost you $950.
Let's head to the main living area. This area here is the gathering room, which measures 26 and a half by 16. A pre-wire for a ceiling fan is included in the gathering room. A fireplace is not included with your home, but there's an option to install one for $5,600. This is an electric linear fireplace and does not produce heat. In the great room, there's also an option to convert these windows here to a center sliding glass door. This option will cost you $4,000. The great room flows into the kitchen here. In the kitchen, there's an option to install an accent ceiling above your kitchen island. This option will cost you $1,400. In the kitchen, there's also an option to convert your island to a waterfall edge island. This option will cost you $8,400. The included countertop in your kitchen will be a granite slab countertops with 6 inch backsplash. Your standard cabinets will be a Sinclair birch cabinets with 42 inch uppers. Although this model home shows KitchenAid appliances, your standard appliances that come with your kitchen will be Whirlpool appliances. This includes a micro hood, a gas range, and an Energy Star dishwasher. I usually notice that the upper end dishwashers come with this utensil rack. Your standard kitchen fixtures will be a stainless steel undermount sink, a Moen sleek pull-up faucet, and a Moen garbage disposal. It's a nice touch to have such a large window next to your kitchen sink. The upper stack cabinets that you see here are not included. However, there's an option to install them for $6,800. Above your stove or your cooktop, there's an option to install a window at your kitchen backsplash. This option will cost you $1,700. And there's also an option to install a pot filler for $2,400. Please keep in mind that you can't install both the pot filler and the kitchen window, it's one or the other. Your standard kitchen layout will be a micro hood above your freestanding range. There are two kitchen options to upgrade to. The first one is called the Chef Kitchen. This option will give you a cooktop and a hood above it, and you'll get a built-in microwave and oven on your left hand side. The second option is called the culinary kitchen option. This option is exactly the same as the chef kitchen option. The only difference is that it adds an oven below your cooktop giving you double ovens. This option is rather inexpensive and will cost you $600. Here is your pantry with the standard shelving. The size is pretty adequate for the size of this home. Pulte, like many other builders, will not include a refrigerator with your home. There is an option to install a built-in 42-inch or 48-inch refrigerator space. This option will cost you $800.
For your backyard, there's an option to install a covered patio. This covered patio will measure 21 by 10. It will also come with pavers below your covered patio and will expand all the way to the end of your home on this side. This option will cost you $18,000. Your home will not come with a gas stub as shown here. If you would like to install one, it will cost you $600. Installing a gas stub is a great idea if you plan to have an outdoor fireplace, a built-in barbecue, or an outdoor heater. Let's head back inside. There are three options for your stair rail. The first option is the mission rail for $3,300. The second option is the modern rail for $6,300. And the third option will be the iron rails for $6,500. These three windows here are great for letting in natural light. From here you can see the South Point Casino and Spa. This area here is originally walled off and is actually bedroom 4. In this model home, they have converted to the flex room. With the flex room option, you have an option to install double doors or a French door to close it off. Installing double doors will cost $4,400 and installing French doors will cost you $4,800. With the flex room conversion, you will get a linen closet here. And similar to any other room, if you'd like to install a fan with lights, this option will cost you $950. Down this hall, we have bedrooms 2 and 3 and bathroom 2. Originally, the standard layout for this floor plan is that this would be a storage room. It would measure 9 by 5, but there's an option to convert the storage room to bathroom 4. This option will cost you $8,200. The included features in bathroom 4 will be similar to the other bathrooms. You'll get a Moen faucet in chrome, cultured marble countertops with a 4 inch splash, a rectangular drop in sink, as well as a mirrored medicine cabinet. The standard shower will be a shower and tub combo with a cultured marble surround, but there is an option to install a shower with a seat. This option will cost you $4,200. This is a very interesting use of the tiles. They use different shades and different directions, and they also use a glossy tile. Double doors will lead to your owner suite. Your owner suite will measure 17 by 14 and a half. The owner suite will also come with a pre-wire for a ceiling fan. Here is the community of Delamar. To the west of Delamar is the Hayford Collection which is also by Pulte Homes. In the owner suite will be a walk-in closet here, and these will be the standard shelving that comes with it.
Your owner's bathroom would not come with a door, but there's an option to saw a door. This option will cost you $500. I love the herringbone pattern that they use here for the tile flooring. And here we have another walk-in closet. This one's slightly larger when compared to the one in the bedroom. The included features in the owner's bathroom would be a cultured marble dual vanity countertop, double porcelain drop-in sink, mirrored medicine cabinets, Moen Branford faucets in chrome, as well as cultured marble shower surround. Here is your water closet. There are three options for your owner's bathroom. The first option is included, which is a shower stall to your left and a linen closet to your right. The second option is what you see here in this model home. It's called the luxury owner's bath. It gives you a freestanding tub to your left with double windows here and a large walk-in shower to your right. This is an $11,000 upgrade. The third option is called the glass walk-in shower, also known as a super shower to many other builders. This will be a large walk-in shower that spans from the wall to wall, from left to right. You will get a 3 8 inch glass from floor to ceiling, and it will come with a rain shower head. This option will cost $6,200. Touch the wall here is called a handheld shower. This is an additional option that will cost you $1,100. A rain shower head will cost you $1,000 as an upgrade, but it comes included with the luxury owner's bath and the glass walk-in shower. Here we have bathroom 2. Bathroom 2's standard features will be the same as bathroom 3 and bathroom 4. And similar to the other bathrooms, you can upgrade this to a shower with a seat. Here they're using a 12 by 24 tile again, but they're using it horizontally instead of vertically. A cost from bathroom 2 is this storage closet here. This closet here is only available when you do the flex room conversion. Otherwise, there will be a door to bedroom 4 from here. And in the hallway, we have a linen closet. Here we have bedroom 3, which measures 11 by 12. Bedroom 3 will have a walk-in closet. And bedroom 3 will also overlook the front of your home. They put a few rock climbing hoods here. This would be a nightmare for me as my kids would definitely climb on this.
Here we have bedroom 2, which measures 15 and a half by 10. It's more of a water room compared to the other bedrooms. Bedroom 2 will also feature a walk-in closet as well. This concludes our home tour of the Calico 4 Plan at Delamar. If you have any questions or you're looking to buy a home or sell a home in Las Vegas or Henderson, please don't hesitate to give me a call, text, or email. Thank you so much guys for watching to the very end and I'll see you in the next video.